There. So see how now I'm starting to get it lower to his body? That's it. That nice. So I'm just going to go right here. Slowly let your head fall. In front of his ribs back. Doesn't take much. Again, when I do bones, Hey everybody, Dr. Bain here. Haven't released a video in quite some time, so I got one of my patients here, Jacob. I'm going to show you a visit, so let's do this thing. All right, Jacob, let me get a picture of your posture here. Okay, deep breath in. Let her go. Nice. Okay, so you can see he's got a little bit of a slouch there. So he's probably got a forward bone somewhere in his upper back. So let's take a look. Okay. Look up. Oh, will you come bearing gifts for the video? Let's Maybe. <laughs> Look down. <laughs> Back to normal. <laughs> oh, you did come bearing gifts. Perfect day. Okay. Head on this side, feet on that side, face up. Okay, so, Jake's got a piece of scar tissue I got to get rid of. So, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark them up with some dots. The dots just help me get the right angle. That way I put all my tension into scar tissue removal and not into his head. Let's get this guy here. My favorite part. Yes. <laughs> so they can't escape. <laughs> so my patients can't run. Oh, here we go. Yep. Oh, good. Bend the knees for me. Get that nice and snug. Good. All right. So let your whole body go. So I'm going to curl him up here. And this is just to get that scar tissue tighter. So relax. Just until I get right to the point. So he's starting to get pretty heavy right about there. I'm going to give him a little bit more turn. There it is. I'm going to bring him over this direction here. Turn his head to the dots of line. And relax. Beautiful. Done. Quick and easy. Not the most dramatic one I've ever done. <laughs> now it's in screen, which is nice. <laughs> okay. Look up for me. And you can see immediately, the second I got rid of that, he got taller. Like he needed anymore. Fine. <laughs> Look to the right. Back to normal. There you go. Left. Back to normal. And you may have two today. Oh boy. Left, back to normal. Mm -hmm. You got two for one. Just right right around the edge, yep. So this is another type of scar tissue removal. You guys by now have seen me do this a million times. Put your whole body slouch. Slouching is key to this because I want the scar tissue tight. The scar tissue tends to build in bad posture. So I need his posture to be what it actually is. Nice and relaxed. Let your shoulders go all the way there. So see how now I'm starting to get it lower to his body. That's it. Nice. Right there. There. You see he just keeps getting a little taller. There. Nice. By now, I've probably already forgotten your history. <laughs> <laughs> so Jake has been here for like two months probably now. Honestly, I can't remember half of what he came in with now because most of it's gone. <laughs> so I don't really, <laughs> I really wish I could tell the case history. What, do you have low back pain? Is that what it was? Yeah, it was back pain. A little back pain? Yeah, so he doesn't complain anymore, so I don't even remember. forget sometimes. A lot better now. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so he's got a bone right up here at the top. So I'm just going to go right here. Slowly let your head fall. Done. Easy. Right there. So you just gently bring that bone backwards. And once again, that's one of the big differences with this technique versus the old way that most other doctors are still doing it is a lot of the old doctors are actually pushing these bones more forward. And that's a problem because you can't fix a forward posture by pushing these even more forward. 
You got to come from this side like that. You got to gently bring them backwards. And that's how you actually change posture and fix things long term. Fortunately, a lot of our older techniques are temporary. But when you do it this way, you start to get longer term changes. Little guy right there. Cross those guys. Let your shoulders relax. Slowly let the body slouch. One more. Just drop your shoulders more. Let the whole body fall way forward more. Perfect. Right there. I actually had a lot of patients recently asking me about the thumb thing again. So everybody watches my videos and they think, what is this weird thumb thing in the back of the head? What I'm doing is, depending on how somebody falls, so in this case, he tends to fall that way, forward to the right. When someone falls forward and to the right, their head should be compensating by the left side of his skull coming down. So if I push a bone more forward, like here, and I slide my thumbs in the back of his head and I check, if I don't see his head compensate correctly by coming down on the left hand side, meaning my left thumb comes down where it's supposed to be, then I know that that bone I just pushed is too forward and I need to gently bring it back. And if not, if it's even or if it's high on that side, then we're good. So I'm checking his L5. L5 is okay. Check his sacrum here. Fine. Check the bottom of his sacrum. Fine. Let me check his heads of his femurs here. A little something on there. Just got a little bit of a femur forward on this side, so I'm just making a little push, and that's it. Quick and easy. Beautiful. Feet time. Sweet. <laughs> feet right there. I always do the feet on everybody for the most part. Just because there's certain things that happen here that can radically change somebody's posture. So I start with the ankle. And once again, when I do bones, do them in directions that they can't fix themselves. So you don't have a muscle here to pull your toe out, so it tends to get jammed. So I got to do that for people. Oh yeah, nice. Then I take this guy and I'm gonna push up each bone of his foot back up. These bones down here tend to get stuck down on people, which is why they get plantar fasciitis and flat feet. So I go to each individual one and I push it back to where it's supposed to be. Last guy is always the fibula. Fibulas tend to get stuck forward. So that can cause knee pain, hip pain, back pain, poor posture. His fibula was out pretty bad on that side. Now I'm going to do the ribs here too. So let's just see how his breathing is. So I'm going to have Teresa come on the side there. And let's just watch and see if his chest is moving properly or if it gets stuck. So take a deep breath. And relax. It's pretty good. Do one more time for me. But the first thing I see is a couple things. You see his right, the left side of his chest here is lagging a little bit and it's a little shaky. You see how it quivers a little bit right about there. So we're going to fix that. Just let your chest sink in with my hands. So I'm just gently moving the front of his ribs back doesn't take much and we'll see if that corrects it if not we'll move on to the next step perfect so not much we'll come on the side again ah much nicer one more time and he'll tell you I bet you he'll tell you in a sec 
That breath was not only deeper, but a lot easier. Yeah, it was. Ah. Much nicer. One more time, and he'll tell you, I bet you he'll tell you in a sec. That breath was not only deeper, but a lot easier. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, easy fix. So, easy fix. Come on over on this side, Jake. Once again, so that's just one of the things that unfortunately the old way misses a lot of times, and this is why a lot of people have breathing problems. It also gives you bad posture. And a lot of times when patients come to me in the beginning, they'll have a couple different things. One of the things they'll have is that their chest here will be collapsed. It'll turn in. Your chest should turn out like a house, on the, like a roof on a house. So if this is collapsed here, you know you have this problem, and you should be giving us a call to start getting that fixed. Because as you get older, this is why you see elderly people who have collapsed chests, they need to have those oxygen tanks because they can't breathe. Because when you have a collapsed chest, your lungs can't expand properly. Yeah. Little guy right there. Cross the arms, shoulders loose. Let that belly fall to me all the way down. Little click and done. Deep breath in. Relax. You see him constantly checking his posture. So right there, you still see he has just a little bit of slouch, which means there's a bone probably right about there. I got to do this very small. And you see his shoulder rolls just a little bit forward, which means that the rib here, I need to be uh, fixing. His first rib needs to get fixed. So we're just gonna do a gentle rib lift here. Arms up super high. This gets rid of very small forward bones. Let your shoulders relax. So I already moved a little bit. Arms up high, relax. Arms up high and relax. See, there it goes there. So let's watch this. I bet you his posture will get a little better. Take a deep breath. Relax. Okay, good. Now, the biggest thing we still see is he's got to get this thing fixed here. That first rib is way too forward. It's dragging him down. Back right here for me. Tender check. Any tenderness there? Let your arms relax. So what I'm going to do is, a lot of people ask me what this is, this karate chop I do. This karate chop is going to fix the first rib that sits behind your clavicles. So when the first rib is forward, let your shoulders drop. What you have is you'll have this. You see, when you run your hand here across the shoulder, it shouldn't catch. I shouldn't be catching this. If I'm catching that humeral head, that means that this is way too forward. See, this one's a little better, but I am catching there. So let's just see what happens when I fix this. Relax your shoulders down. One. Two. Take a deep breath. Immediately, you see two things. This rolls less and I catch it a lot less. Same thing with this one. But his breathing, if you listen to his breathing, if you go back a second, rewind, and you listen to his breathing, it was deeper, it was longer, it was a lot nicer. Right here for me. Let me just work your posture for a sec. Deep breath in. Relax. And now you see the slouch is gone. So his shoulders aren't really rolling anymore. He's not falling forward, so we fixed that problem. So let's get a picture. Okay, nice deep breath in, let it go. And you see now he doesn't move either, so he's got no swaying, his posture is significantly better. I can pull up on my camera here. So there's the first one, and his posture is really not that bad anymore because we've been seeing him for a couple months now. But you just see a pretty nice improvement here. You can really see it in his shoulders, in his chest, in his head, how everything has come back and up. Way less slouch going on here in his shoulders now. And once again, we're just making something that's already good even better. So that's it. Thanks, guys.